What up, YouTube? Yeah, you know, Big Lou, tell me back in. One more again, what would it do? Big Lou, NFZ R2. Baby, baby. Bye so check it out. <clears throat> you tough in that thumbnail. Uh, if you know what that is, I don't expect everybody to know what that is. But that is none other than the legendary La Reina de la Salsa. Azúcar, Azúcar. La Cubana, Celia Cruz, right? And she's going to be honored um, as being placed on the United States quarter. She's going to be the first Afro Latina to ever, or might, might be Afro Latino, period, to be uh, on the quarter, right? Um, if you guys don't know who she is, like I said, she's a Cuban lady came to the United States way back when. She used to sing for La Sonora Matancera. And then broke off on her own. She's well known to, to have played, um, you know, gigs with, uh, and she's had albums with Tito Puente, Willie Colon, uh, Pilar Conde Rodriguez, Johnny Pacheco. They had an album all three together. Um, long, 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 um, long career in the music scene. Um, something like 70 years at least. Something like, yeah, something like that. She passed away in um, 2001. No, oh, no, let me think. 2003, I think it was. She passed away in 2003 or 2002. I remember I was locked up in the county jail. Um, and she's been, you know, like I said, she came up under the Fania record label um, on many of the um, live, uh, Fania All-Stars live, you know, albums that are that have been recorded at nightclubs in New York, such as the Cheetah Club, live at Yankee Stadium. Um uh, live from uh, Africa, uh, I forgot where they where did where did they sing at Zimbabwe? I think it was Zimbabwe. They sang live in in Africa, um, live in Venezuela, live in Puerto Rico, live from Chicago Carnegie Hall. I mean uh, Carnegie Hall. I'm not sure if Carnegie Hall is in New York or Chicago, but live from Carnegie Hall. Um, like I said, long, long, long time career in the salsa music. She has also majority with salsa. And then, you know, back in the day, they had rumba and they had mambo and all that. And uh, um, But she's known as the queen of salsa. Um, and she's known for that That uh, during her music saying azúcar, azúcar, I mean, sugar, right? Azúcar. Um, but um, she's being honored on the on the on the quarter. So let me read this this little deal here. Celia Cruz becomes first Afro-Latina to appear on U.S. quarter. Cuban-American singer Celia Cruz, who died in 2003, see, I remember that, is the first Afro-Latina to appear on the United States quarter issued by the United States Mint. The coin was represented, was presented, excuse me, last Thursday on the institution's website. Cruz is the 14th woman to receive this tribute as part of the American Women's Quarters program, which was launched into which was launched in 2022. Other women who have received this distinction include writer and activist Maya Angelou, former First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, and Mexican-American journalist Jovita Idal. The coin shows an image of Cruz smiling with her iconic phrase, Azuka. The other side has an image of George Washington designed by artist Laura Garden Frazier in 1932 to, to com commemorate the 200 anniversary of the birth of America's first president. The American Women's Quarters program will continue through 2025 and aims to honor the advancements and contributions of women to the U.S. The United States Embassy in Cuba celebrated the milestone. Let's celebrate this historic moment and legacy of the Queen of Salsa. Like I said, La Reina de la Salsa or Reina de la Salsa is said in a statement posted in Spanish on X. Gran noticia para los fans de Celia Cruz y la música latina. Ya comenzaron a circular las mo, moned, mon, monedas de edición limitada con la in, imagen de Celia Cruz en Estados Unidos. Es un hito histórico. Celia es la primera figura afro-latina en aparar... Ah, Aparece en una moneda estado un de, estadounidense. And it stops there uh, as far as the, uh, the, the post. And I don't have X, so I can't pull it up. So that's a big accomplishment, right? Um, 
even though she's been gone for 21 years already, she passed away 21 years. Um, her husband was big in the music. He was more of a, he was a backup singer. Uh, Pedro Knight, his name was her husband. Um, she was, like I said, she was real close with Tito Puente. A lot of people thought that her and Tito Puente were brother and sister, perhaps, or family. Tito Puente is Puerto Rican. She's Cuban. Um, she also, uh, like I said, was had close relationship with Johnny Pacheco, with Peter El Conde, Santito Colon, Hector Lavo, Willie Colon, you know, the list goes on and on and on. Ray Barreto, Alberto Santiago, Cheo Feliciano, uh, who might have missed it? Uh, Imael Miranda, Imael Rivera, you know what I'm saying? El Gron Combo, the list just goes on and on. Um, big time, nobody gets bigger than Celia Cruz. Um, no woman gets bigger than Celia Cruz. Um, there are some few other singers back in the day. Um, uh, Lolita Rivera, you know what I mean? Um, but Celia Cruz was, that was the pinnacle. You know what I'm saying? Um, she was the, the number one stunner, so to speak, right? Um, and it's just cool to show, you know, not to show, but to honor people of Latin descent by the United States of America because I don't, it's just, it is what it is. Facts are facts. Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, and Cubans have been here forever and have been fighting for this country since the beginning, right? Um, I don't know if you can go far as back as Civil War, but for sure, World War One, no doubt about it. You know what I'm saying? And World War Two, even more. Korean War, Vietnam, big time. In these last couple of wars, we had Iraq, Afghanistan, and other times that we had to go into Panama, into Sarajevo, and all these other places, right? Um, and, uh, you know, more of the South Americans and Central Americans are catching up now, you know what I'm saying? I mean, not now, but in the past, more recent times, I should say, you know? So, you know, we've come a long way, uh, you know, in the history of this country. Um, Latinos have been part of many different movements and cultures. And, you know, as far as when I say cultures, I'm talking about like uh, hip hop culture, you know what I'm saying? Uh, everything that comes with that, the break dance and the graffiti, you know, pop block and b-boys all that stuff rapping obviously uh, uh you know dj and all that stuff you know uh the, the, the streets you know everything like that puerto rican's been there you know saying a little later on the west coast a little different you know groups like uh cypress hill and you know uh, uh other other groups uh but um even with, in rock music you know a lot of people don't know about you know tony orlando different people just been you know, around and doing their thing as a band member or a singer, lead singer or backup singer or, you know, manager or whatever, you know what I'm saying? And uh, it's cool that when, you know, people start getting acknowledged for their accomplishments and achievements and accolades in the world, you know, on this home, beautiful home front of the United States of America, we call, you know, a home. Um, it's, a, a, you know, unfortunately, it's still not nowhere near the way it should be by now in this year of 2024. You know, a lot of hates out there, a lot of, you know, uh, uh, evilness, uh, you know, a lot of ugly rhetoric and, and, and ideologies still being, you know, um, put out there on mainstream. It's, it's you know, it's, I'm not going to get into it about being anything else, but just saying that. And um, it's a it's a humdinger, <laughs> humdinger now. It's a humdinger and a a, a, a dinger as a, what I meant to mean was a dinger as in a home run hit right off the park on behalf of Celia Cruz and uh you know that was cool. And so with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out. Um, she'll go down forever as being one of the greatest singers ever, popularity wise. You know. You know, these people, Cela Cruz, Tito Puente, these people, Rey Barreto, these people, uh, uh, you know, had, had, um, uh, you know, they, they uh, appeared on Sesame Street and things like that, you know what I'm saying? So even though they sang in Spanish, it, it, they were well known, you know what I'm saying? Even though they might not know, they couldn't tell you what they sang or, or even repeat the songs because it was in Spanish. Um, but they could hum with it sometimes if they, you know, depending on where they grew up or where they're at, you know, say they're maybe an Irish family that grew up in a Puerto Rican, uh, uh, uh building, you know, and they hear these songs, they, they'll remember songs, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, things of that nature, what I'm, what I'm getting at. And, uh, you know, people will always remember when they see her and who she was, you know, they, like I said, they might not remember the songs or how the songs went, but 
seeing her likenesses, her likening, likeliness and her image, they know who that she is. Just like Tito Puente, same thing. You know, so it's an honor for uh, us Latino people of all Latin descent to uh, acknowledge, honor, and be proud of the fact that we had people that came through from their motherlands to this this uh, land of the United States of America and it's, it's Spanish, Estados Unidos de America, right? And um, did their dizzag, their thug dizzle, my nizzle. You know what I'm saying? And with that being said, Big Lou, gone.